Hello, you lot. Robert Baton, avowellness.com, A double R O, wellness.com. Hit me up there for your fitness needs. Today, I'm going to talk about my favourite isolation exercise, the pullover. Now, the pull, what I mean by isolation exercise, if you don't know, is it, it's only moves across one joint. Okay, so for example, this is an isolation move, one joint's moving. This is a compound move, that's the other type of movement because two joints are moving. Now, I tend to get beginners and most of my clients in general to do mostly compound moves, and that's because compound movements activate more muscle in general. Obviously, if there's more than one joint being used, and mus the muscle's job is to pull, pull a bone, then obviously there's more activation going on, okay? So, in, as a general rule, compound movements are a lot better than isolation movements. There's many variables included in that. Um, but that being said, there's one isolation movement that is so important, and that's the pullover. And I'll tell you why, because the pullover, it uses so many muscles. You're only using your shoulder joint, but what it's using is the chest, muscles, back, muscles. It's using the serratus anterior, which is a muscle that connects to your ribs here and connects to the um, shoulder blade, which is important for um, shoulder stabilization. You use the rotator cuffs as well. Um, you use the forearms, you use the core. You know, it's such an important movement and it's very, very simple as well, okay. And it's often performed wrong. So I'm gonna show you the um, exercise first and I'm gonna show you a couple of ways that you can um, adapt it or change it for your particular needs. So what you can do is, I'm gonna start with the dumbbell, like so. And then we're gonna take a hold, which I call the Jay-Z hold. Which I don't think is called the Jay-Z hold. And we're gonna take it like this. On the chest, go back nice and safe, okay. Push up towards the end so your head's just on the edge of the bench. Reason for that is when I go back with the weight, I don't want to hit the bench with the weight. That's why, okay? Now you can have your feet underneath your knees, like so, like you do a bench press. You're going to keep the core nice and tight, press straight up to the sky, like so, just above the head, okay? With your arms straight. You're going to lower under control as far as your flexibility will allow you without bending your arms, and then you're going to bring back up just above your head. The reason why we only go to here and not here, like you often see people doing, but they put this little press at the end, which is just, there's no point, you know, using the weight's gonna, gonna activate anything. Um, it's because they want a little rest here. Um, when we go to, oh, just over the head, gravity's still pulling the weight down, so we're keeping the tension on the muscles all the time. So it looks like this again. Lower the control, pull it back to the, just above here, okay. Now, people ask me, is it a chest exercise? Is it a back exercise? Well, it's both. But really, if you want to focus more on the chest, there's a way to do it. And to focus more on the chest, what you do is you keep the arms, the knee, the, sorry, the elbows tucked in and close together. So when we go back now, they're close together. And then when we pull back, we try and pull back with the armpit area while flexing the chest at the top. So you can see my chest is flexed there, okay. If you want to focus on my lats, there's a special way I can do that as well. Focus on my lats, I let my elbows flare out. So as I go back, look, my elbows are flaring out. Flare it out. Now I can feel stretching my lats down on my chest. When I pull back, squeeze my lats down so I can feel them in my back. Just like that. When we're finished, overhand grip, down to the side like so. That's the pullover. Include it in all your workouts for that massive pump. ArrowWellness.com, Robert Baton. Have a great day. Follow me on Twitter, y'all.